Jesus Whisperer just caught me before I've even unboxed it. I'm gonna unbox everything and then I can show you what I got and where I got it from. You spent quite a bit of money here, haven't you? I'm learning this and I'm trying to explain it to you guys. Like I said, I have been speaking to Finch Filtration. Every single bit of that media is doing what it needs to do. Then another 25 litres in the bio flow. I need to empty this big blue first, and that is very, very special in there. And then we'll move on to this. Let's see what the results are. It's an absolutely quality, and I mean quality. 25% of that out to be in a butcher, see? Used to carrying things on my shoulder all day long. Hope that was helpful to a few people. I've never done one before. And the koi's going back into the pond tomorrow morning, so I want to get this set up on the pond. I'll show you exactly how I do it. But this is absolutely outstanding. Look at the detail and the quality. Right, so I just got home from work and I'm just about to show you what I've got. I'll just crack on with the video. What have you got? Mrs. Whisper has just caught me before I've even unboxed it. Look at it. As you can see, I've got an absolute mountain of deliveries to go through and show you what I've got. Just get everything unboxed. Well then, so I'm gonna go through everything, what I've got. I've had a few different deliveries from a few different companies. The first one's from One Planet. I've got some goldfish sticks for me fancy goldfish. The only reason why I got them is because I had to make the order up to 50 quid, so I got free post and packaging. So in effect, I got them for free instead of paying a 6 99 postage. I thought I needed some more of the, um, the chlorinator, but I don't need to worry about that now, but it's there if I ever need it for backup. But I've got my white piece, first order done. Recently I've had a few people say that I get everything for free, and I don't. Look, there we go, proof of the pudding, 51 56 right there. I pay for everything that I get. Yeah, second delivery, good old Finch filtration again. I was filming, so I can't tell the exact figure what I've just spent, but it weren't cheap. I'll open this one up now as well. So I got myself the Blue Lab Guardian, which basically what this does, it monitors your temperature, your pH, and it just gives you a total TDS of your water. There's a lot of the equipment that I'm gonna be showing you. If I stick this in my filter house, you're gonna see it. Abby Dave's, box empty. There's over a hundred pounds for this in here. Mrs. Whisperer will have my pants down. If I need it, and it will last me a hell of a long time. It's not much to get excited about, I've got a 25 kilo bag of activated carbon, which is to go into my blue dechlorinator, which I'm gonna show you how to empty and then refill up. So that was a hundred, over a hundred pounds for that, but it'll fill up my dechlorinator twice, which is happy days. Spent quite a bit of money here, haven't you? I have spent a bit of money, yeah. A bit too much money to be fair. And to be fair, I don't need to explain myself to people where I pay for stuff and where I get it from. It's just something that I do to share that's the part of YouTube. A few people basically comment saying, he just comments on people's videos and gets everything for free. No, I don't. I work my ass off. Look, lazy butchers. I work full time. I don't just sit at home and do nothing. Yeah, as you can see, that's me bits that I bought there. But it's basically just some anti-back, some dechlorinator, some koi sticks. Got my little Y piece that I was after. Got some more filter gel just to start me off with the bio balls. This was the most important thing that I wanted. So I got this from Finch Filtration. You can check them out on Facebook. And to be fair with you, the reason why I'm sharing where I got it from, because the bloke is a pleasure to deal with. I've had nothing but good advice. I'm going to set this up, show you what it does, and show you why I've got it. It is expensive. It did cost me over £200, but it's well worth having if you're serious about keeping koi. I've also got a 25 kilo sack of the carbon there which needs to go into this big blue. I need to empty this big blue first because the smell inside of that, I've had that for about probably well over two years and the amount of water that I've ran through it, but the smell in there, there's a stagnant smell, smelling like rotten eggs and I'm just not even gonna attempt to put any of that water into here without changing that carbon first. I believe that it's well overdue and it needs to be done. Oh, that's one extra thing and that is very, very special in there and I cannot wait to show you. But to start with, I've got other things to get on with and let's just crack on, get this packed away, get this set up, and then we'll move on to this. Right then, so as you can see, I do apologise that I've missed a bit of footage, but I'm learning this, and I'm trying to explain it to you guys. So, I've just fit it up here on the wall. I've never used one before. I'm keen to use it, and I'm keen to try to share it with you guys. It might benefit you keep coy. You get the Blue Lab tester. You also get two packs of solution. 
this is something that you have to buy as well. I didn't realize that you have to keep buying these solutions and test it once a month just to keep that calibrated. pH solutions are seven and they're also four. Just calibrate that. That there will give you a reading of your TDS in your water. It will also give you a temperature and it also gives you a constant pH. When I tested with this before I bought that, it said that my pH was 7.5 to eight. Well, when you're looking at that, 7.7, that there's pretty bang on. So there's nothing wrong with them whatsoever. I've been using these for my whole koi pond career. I'm just upgrading the systems the way I keep koi and I'm super, super happy with it. Obviously it's a lot of money and I know people can't afford it and I'm not telling people that you have to have one because you don't. It's just something that I wanna do on a channel and without me having this channel and without you guys supporting me, I wouldn't be able to have that. So I wanna say a massive, massive thank you for that. The videos I make money on the ads and each month I just buy myself something extra and put back into the channel to show you guys what you can have in a koi pond and try to make this pond as best as I can just to keep up with the Joneses. But really I'm a normal person. So I wanna say a massive thank you to the support that everyone gives me. So for time being what I've done, I've just sat these probes in place here. So this one's the temperature. You don't ha never have to do anything to that. It will just constantly give you a reading of what the temperature is on the pond. This one here, once a month, when these two lights here flash, I think that's what it says on the manual. Like I said, I have been speaking to Finch Filtration and he very kindly helped me set it up. I ate reading. I really ate reading. And soon as he showed me on a bit of FaceTime, within seconds, I'm set up. I'll show you how to do that. When I got a little bit more time, when I come to calibrate it next time, I'll show you exactly how I do it. Right, one thing I want to show you real quickly. I only put this media in three days ago. There's 75 litres in there. And as you can see, every single bit of that media is doing what it needs to do. What I'm going to do here now, I'm going to get this in there now as well. Just before I add this in, there's one thing I want to mention. You don't need to treat it with PP before you add it to a bio tank. As you can see, this stuff's only been in for three days and it's already doing its thing. The stuff in there at the moment is the bio tube and that's very small. I've only ripped this off and put it on there just so I can tell you guys what it is because it's hard for me to remember what everything is. So if I've got something there like that, you can see exactly what it is. But this stuff here is actually called Bio Flow Plus. I'm adding another 25 litres in of the bio flow. And then what I'll do, the other 75 litres that I got in a couple of days time. There's that all in there. But I can guarantee you, within two days, all of this stuff will be already bubbling away, ready for the next lot to go in. Surprise me how quick it does start and sinks and starts doing its thing. But if you have a look there, it's a complete different type of media. So this is what they call the BioFlow Plus. Same again, it's a lot better than any other media on the market. So check them out, Burton's. And I'm not sponsored by Burton's, I just highly recommend it. Exciting times for me as well. Let me open it up and I'll tell you all the insides and outs of it in a second. And so what we have in here is an absolutely quality and I mean quality, piece of art. It's gonna be going out in my garden next to the pond. There's gonna be a lot of people asking where I got it from, and I'll explain that in a second. But as you can see, it comes super well packed. You wait until you see this, because this here is grade A. Now that is what I am talking about. There looks the absolute hammer. I'm super made up by that. The quality on that is absolutely outstanding. The artwork and the details, I'm just totally blown away by it. A lot of you know, I've got a couple of these dotted around the garden as it is. And the person that makes all of this is a lovely lady called Maggie. Her work is absolutely outstanding. A couple of other companies out there at the moment that I know of, and Maggie's not asked me to say this. I just feel that it's my right to, seeing as that I've always bought stuff off of Maggie in the past. There's a couple of other companies out there that are of doing the sort of same sort of thing to what Maggie's doing with the fish on these plaques. And a lot of you probably know that I used to make the plaques myself as well. I've made some and I've shared what I've done. I can guarantee you, if you want something like this and the exact quality of Maggie's work, just make sure you check out the link in the description because there's a few other companies out there that are copying this type of work and putting their name to it and it's not actually Maggie's work. 
I think it's only fair for me to tell people personally that if you want any of the work like this, then you've got to check out the Wooden Koi Company, which is Maggie. I'll leave her Facebook page down in the link of the description of this video. I'm not getting paid to promote it, and nor did I get this item for free. I paid for it out of my hard earned working money because I think the quality is absolutely outstanding. So this piece cost me 75 pounds. It's gonna look absolutely banging on my fence at the back there. It does come with a instruction manual and it just tells you that it's recommended to re-varnish every 12 months. Boxes that she's sliding with the post and packaging, she's written, please keep the box for winter storage. And zoom right in a minute, Toad. Go right in and have a look at that. Look at the detail of the fish, the scale pattern. I think that's only fair. If we're gonna share something on YouTube, then I think it's only fair that I recommend the exact person where I got it from. Tell you what, check that out. That there looks the absolute hammer right there. Well made up with that. Look at the detail and the quality on that. It looks like a proper real koi. Check it out, the Wooden Koi Company. I'll leave the link in the description. Happy days. Let's carry on with the video. Moving on from that, basically I've got to change the carbon, which is inside of my dechlorinator. A brand new bag of carbon over there, which I got from Finch Filtration. Basically what I'm doing, is have got to take out all of the carbon, chuck it into this koi bowl to start with. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the hose pipe, put that connection on the end of there, and then rinse that out. Right then, so I'm going to run you through how I'm going to clean my big glue. It's something that I haven't never done before, and I'm not really sure on how to do it. So I'm going to have a go, see how we get on, and I thought, well, I'm just well filming to see if I do things right, and if I do, it will show people how to do it, and if I don't, I'm sure there's someone out there that will comment to tell me how to do it right. But to start with, I've just literally unscrewed the top, that's the pre-fill of what runs into the carbon. For people that don't know what this is, so this here takes all of the chlorine out of my water before I put it into my koi pond something that is very very essential if you keep any sort of fish no chlorine whatsoever so i'm just going to literally tip away some of the water to start with because it's very heavy and then i've got my koi bowl there don't look like that's got rid of hardly any of that the downside about these is that they're super heavy and an absolute ball bag to empty Keep shaking it all out, get as much as I possibly can. The other day, do you know when I said it smelled a bit funny? I've got no smell here at all now, so I don't know what that was. I washed my hands to make sure, but it was stinking the other day, and I'm not sure if it was just that, or where I had the connection to the hose pipes together. don't really know, but definitely no smell now. Just shake them up like that, starts to get a lot easier now because there's not so much weight in there. Buy one, they're very expensive, but what you're actually paying for is the stuff inside of it. But before, if anyone's thinking about getting one of these, speak to Fit Filtration to start with. He's a lovely bloke. He's not like other koi dealers out there on the market. He won't just take your money. He'll ask you certain questions see what you actually need before he sells you anything because everyone's pond's different and no matter where you live in the world i suppose some people need to take out chloramine which you need a different type of carbon for some people need to take out chloride like me and some people don't need to take out none at all so definitely worth speaking to him i highly recommend to give you a time and day he has me and he's helped me out hell of a lot. So I'd have said that's 95% of that out. All I'm going to do now is spray some water in there, tip it upside down, make sure I get every bit out. You can see the, the last of the carbon's actually coming out now. Give it a good clean out. And then I'll top it up with some fresh. I've never had a water meter on this tank, and I don't know how much water that I've actually ran through it. It's been a hell of a lot of water, I know that much. Spotless. Lovely jubbly. So there's that one all done. Bit down here, just, that just stops any of the new carbon coming up through. The only thing I don't know what to do is where I'm going to get rid of all of that. So a couple things I've done. I've got an end cap, which I'm going to put on the end of my pipe. 
it's not the right connection so i'm not worried about it but the reason is i don't want that carbon going down through there i fill it up i haven't got a funnel so you're probably thinking what the hell have i got in my hand so we've just made a brand new funnel on the market it's the x100 752 z5000 what that will allow me to do is wedge that in there i've got my brand new carbon i've got me wife's gravy jug just gonna fill it up hell of an idea see the whisperer's always got ideas there ain't nothing the koi whisperer can't do only thing i can't do i can't read very well dyslexic see but you can't be great at everything so i'm going to whisk through this now so this was a full 25 kilo sack it'll be interesting to see how much i actually can fit in here right so that's the last of it in there give that a bit of a knock all i'm going to do now is just spray Spray off all the little bits around it. Come and check this out. Get right in there a minute. So I've filled it to the top. That idea with this little plug to stop any carbon going down the chute, lift that straight off. And all that is is a 22 mil cap, which is an end cap. Happy days. But look, as you can see now, that is filled up with brand new carbon. Also, see, finch filtration, bang on. I've got exactly half left. Well, to start with, what I'm going to do is hide that in there so mrs whisperer can't see it i'll have to send her down the shop to get another one an horrible manky color and i ain't having no roast dinner with that one you know what i mean gorilla tape out hell of a good tape i'll pack this away in the attic i've got some spare for whenever a chlorine starts coming through this again hope that was helpful to a few people who's never done one before or not knowing what they, what it is i'll line this up with that pipe and make sure that that goes in. There he goes. Screw it on. Screw it on all the way to the rubber seal. And the reason why I cleaned it off, so I haven't got any carbon in the uh, screw threads. A bit awkward to tighten up mine. You can't grip hold of him. Perks of being a butcher, see? Used to carrying things on my shoulder all day long. Out my window. So this big blue's not going to be living here. When I get my plumber out to get into the filter house, when he can hook up my mains water into my filter house, it's something I could do myself, but I'd still rather have the plumber out just to make sure the connections are done right. But until it's completely filled right up, then it'll be ready to rock and roll. And then I can keep a constant trickle going into the pond. So we're on the countdown, just checking if I've got any chlorine coming through. I will show you later down the line how you do test for chlorine with these HANA test kits. Very simple to use. Once you work them out, once you've seen a video of how to do it, it is really easy. A click of a button and it will tell you exactly. But I've got this one all set up just on a slow trickle, trickling into the pond. That's going to be running 24-7, never stopping. I will play around with it. When I get it in the filter house, get my plumber out, I'll be able to get it all sorted properly. So we're almost there now. Let's see what the results are. So I have zero chlorine in my tap water. Happy days. There just tells me as well. Just a big blue on its own with just the carbon in it. Brand new. I don't really need to use that anymore. No point using it at all really. I might keep it just for my fish tanks. I'm not sure yet. We'll see how things go. But I want to get this into the filter house eventually. Time being, it's going to live there. Just trickling in a bit of water. A lot of you know I use the hive cameras. I'm gonna set this one up on the pond. I've got a few to set up, but I'm just gonna dismantle the ones from here. Always going back into the pond tomorrow morning. So I wanna get this set up on the pond. That took me a lot longer than what I wanted it to, but it's done. So that wire now runs all the way up in behind here. Then I come through the filter house shed. I've just connected it to the closest plug socket that I've got. So that's one of the hive cameras that I've got. I've got a couple more scattered around the garden, but that's what I call my pond cam. And basically, when I'm at work, wherever I'm to, I can check in on the app and I can check to see what the pond's looking like. Just make sure everything's ready to rock and roll. So tomorrow morning, we've got a little bit of rain at the moment, but tomorrow morning, we're going to crack on and get all of these fish back in the pond. Yeah, that being said, check back on Sunday because all of the fish are going into the pond. So if you want to see all my fish come back into the pond, come back on Sunday because I guarantee you it's going to be one hell of a video.
That being said, if you can like the video for me, subscribe to the channel. Have a good week, and I'll see you on Sunday. Thank you, mother for the rabbits.